Hi everyone, welcome to the War of Kings. This week, my alliance will take the kingship. The War of King is an event that happens on every Saturday and it involves the area in the center of the map which is called the Land of Abundance. In my zone, uh, the kingship is rotated between alliances peacefully but of course there are other zones where you fight for it. So basically, this is the land of abundance and the little cactus things to the north, south, east and west are squirters. So the ultimate goal is to occupy the land of abundance the squirters, if they are occupied by an opposing alliance, will do damage against uh, your troops that are inside the land of abundance. So it is best if you can occupy all of the squirters as well as the tree. Because it's a peaceful transition of power, there's not much drama going on. The first time my players are taking part in this event, so uh, we have uh, many players who are excited and uh, happy just to come to the land of abundance and uh, sit in squatters. What needs to happen is that we need to occupy the squatter and it needs to be occupied for a total of 8 hours. Sorry, the land of abundance needs to be occupied for 8 hours before you win the kingship. So, yeah. I've sent some troops to the land of abundance and some into the squatters. Do note that you, you won't be able to turn on the peace shield if you are uh, engaged in combat in the land of abundance or on the squirters. So if you are in a zone where you are likely to get attacked uh, of four marches, what you should do is you should at least uh, keep a march at home or uh, have your alliance support you and garrison your base for you. Alright, so hopefully this goes well and I will be back in around eight hours to uh, show everyone the details of the, um, the, the things that the king can do. And so eight hours have passed and we have the lovely fairy announcement uh, announcing my alliance has controlled the land of abundance. So if you go to the land of abundance, um, uh, other players can start doing the war zone constructions already and instructions still to be nominated and you can see the players who have helped me uh, secure the land of abundance so as R5 of the alliance you go into position and you have the king exclusive so these are a bunch of King Rewards, King Privilege, this is a buff that the King will be able to apply for the war zone. The Battle Rewards, these are awards that the King can uh, supply to other players. The Land of Glory, this is basically the record of all the Kings that have been in our zone and uh, so far. Um, uh, so the R5 of the Alliance controlling the tree after 8 hours has the ability to crown the king and to nominate the king you click on the position over here and you click nominate and uh, this is in some order that appears to be in order of 
um, uh, base power. Just let me check that. So you have Sparta Curious and Golden Royal Abyss Comrade, Beer Iris Halo, Tugaxia X Six and Tate Spiro, and then myself. Let's see, Leaderbots and Heal Power. Yep. That is definitely the order of the um, uh, list who has the most power. Okay, position. So this is, you can of, of, of course pick the player with the most power. You can even pick players that are outside your alliance. Alternatively, you click on your alliance and you can nominate yourself or any other member in your alliance. Alright. In this case, I am going to make myself king. So I will nominate myself. Uh, the king cannot be changed during the term. So for the next week, I will be king. And that's that. And we have a lovely announcement. And your chat box goes red. Okay, so back to positions. For each of these positions, there are different uh, buffs that are useful on certain days of the week. And uh, there are also positions with debuffs. So if there are players who are misbehaving or who have been nasty to you, then you can uh, uh, nominate them for debuffs as needed. The list here for the nominations is still the same. Rank by power or you can search for players. Of course I will think... Okay let's search, let's, let's see whether that comes out. No. Okay, the search isn't... Okay, let's see. Okay, so you have to uh, match the spacing and the capitalization. Um, uh, and you have to put in the uh, strange alphabets as needed if you're, uh, you have... Uh, players with um, symbols in their name. So you, for example, if you are searching for Royal Abyss here, you have to put in the Yen symbol and capitalize the Y and the A. Alright. I will figure out who deserves which position and uh, assign them as needed. But basically, the Queen is great for resource gathering day, so it's a good uh, good for the pre-gather and gather days. The Brain End is good for evolution day, or anyone who is doing evolutions on free development day, this will benefit. The Counselor is a builder and a hedger, and also a little bit of a 
uh, researcher. So good for building day, good for evolution day, and good for soldier hatching day. Um, uh, it's best for the soldier hatching day. The evo and the build buffs are not as good compared to the pure evo buff for the of the brain ant. The guard and the Aries are attack bonuses so they are good for groundhog days and they are good for uh, war zone expedition days when you have your heavy hitters hitting uh, as you want when you want your heavy hitters hitting harder and winning battles for you the harvester is like the queen uh, it produces a lot of resources and it gathers a lot of resources so uh, this is a resource bonus slot same as a queen, extra resources scattered. This one has increased gathering speed. The artisan is a good builder, and versatile is uh, resource production, has got resource production, a bit of evolution speed, and uh, soldier and hatch speed. So good for um, evolution day and hatching day. Alright, and then of course you have your debuffs, which are the weakling, which reduces the player's soldier attack and then uh, the resource output. Uh, the timid, which will reduce the player's depot capacity. Uh, this is particularly annoying for players who are trying to grow and they have the depot capacity and they're building depots and trying to get their queen or get their barracks out and you want to deter them then uh, timid will uh, throw a wrench in their plans um, uh, the cripple will slow down in marching and soldier hatching this is annoying day to day for even for insect killing um, the hatch speed, if you are punishing a raider, the hatch speed on soldier ants will uh, make them spend more speed ups on uh, getting their army ready to raid. Sloth uh, reduces their defense and reduces their soldier output, their, sorry, their resource output. Uh, it makes the player easier to defeat, however, if you are trying to punish rogues, um, frequently the rogues don't produce much resources of their own. They are typically raiders, so um, you nerf their resource output, they don't really care. Uh, if they are going to take a hit, they usually just ungarrison, so um, they can work around the debuff. The sick end just reduces the soldier end attack and defense, so this is a direct PvP debuff. So if your rogue actually hits and gets hit, then uh, this would uh, reduce that player's uh, ability to do that much damage. But if you are expecting this to make uh, base 2559s less harmful to base 16s with T6s. This is still not going to work. Uh, the dock will reduce the evolution speed and uh, that basically means that the player is forced to spend more on uh, evolution speed ups. Doozy decreases much speed. This is similar to cripple, um, just worse. <laughs> uh, much speed is quite annoying if you are trying to kill insects and uh, clear farms or march to the tree for um, uh, war zone construction and of course the last one is the glutton uh, it reduces the uh, player's resource output and it increases the soldier meat consumption this last one is a bit of a joke because uh, if you look at the amount of meat that we have, I have 3.3 G meat in my inventory. I haven't built a meat 
um, uh, the the woodlouse colony in ages, and uh, the amount of meat just keeps increasing. All right, so uh, yeah, if you have players that need to be punished, then uh, they get a purple text next to their names, and then the players that are rewarded get their um, uh, gold text next to their name, but the king is the only one with a rich hat box. For this part warzone level, there is not that much you can control or need to do. Alright, this is just, to, this is a regular warzone construction. Alright. So as king, there is the king exclusive, and then the battle reward. Now as king, I can assign that. So I click on award, and once again, I can select a player from my alliance, and I can send the players the packs. And then you can send off the guardsman pack, which is a 1000 diamonds, a um, uh, bunch of speed ups, a bit of meat, which is once again like why, <laughs> why meat of everything, and then uh, some eggs and 60,000 alliance contribution points. The victor pack has is the second tier pack, you get once again, diamonds, speed up, meat, and 40,000 uh, alliance contribution points. And the ally pack is the mini pack with more or less the same thing. Alright, just less. So you have the biggest pack, the medium pack, and the little packs. And here, after you have assigned the packs, you have a uh, list that shows shows you who has been assigned what pack. You can also write in mail to all players. How many can I send though? And I believe there is a um, uh, there is a character limit so keep your messages short and sweet. You can of course text raw players or send them in part A, part B, part C as needed. Um, uh, there may be a limit to the number of uh, mails that you send, but I'll figure that out as the week goes on. This will sit in players inbox like this. You go into the system. Is it a system? No. Defense. I believe you'll go into the system and you have some king mail um, that appears. So yeah, Tokaxia was the previous king and this is what she wrote last king mail. Alright, so that about hold on. Uh. The last thing is you can write down your manifesto. What your rule is meant to be. And for the king privilege, uh, the king can turn on gathering boost, hatch speed boost, um much speed boost and healing speed boost as needed. These two are good for Q events as uh, this is good for gathering day and this is good for hatching day. So as king, um, please make use of your war zone construction points wisely and uh, uh, make use of the boost to help your zone uh, achieve their SVS rewards.
Alright, thank you very much everyone for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, here's an addendum about king mail. I've sent my first king mail, after which each, each king mail will cost 2,000 diamonds to send. And there is a character limit. And uh, let's see. So I have went to Lauren it's Ipsum Generator. And I'm just going to copy the whole chunk here. This one is a uh, five paragraphs, um, uh, five paragraphs generator. And if I go here and I just tap it in, you'll notice it only um, puts down just one portion of them. It stops there because it has hit the character limit. How many characters is this? I will select all and I will copy again and instead of that I will go to the character counter and I'll paste this section all right so it's a 600 character limit to the text all right you can't send king mails that are more than 600 characters long so it's best to be concise and because you it costs you 2,000 diamonds to keep sending mail um, uh, don't spam your zone <laughs> right so I will make sure I do not send a lot of some to my zone thank you everyone for watching and have a good day bye bye